Brad McGee, uh, sports director with uh, Saxo Bank. Uh, it must be devastating for you. Shit house. Just to, to see a guy like that, I mean, you put all the effort in and the boys just did another wonderful job and Andy was, you know, he's just on top of things. I, to be honest, he suffered a little bit early in the race but then got himself sorted and he was full of uh, ambition and, and confidence by the time we hit the hill. And then, poof, uh, I didn't even know what happened. It was something, chain jump or something like that. But, uh, yeah, so bang, jersey gone. But already, you know, you catch your breath and I'm sure Andy is or will and uh, work out what we do about it tomorrow. You actually had to stop twice. It looked like something to do with the front derailleur on the chain. It got stuck. And... Yeah, I mean, we couldn't see from where we were. We were just trying to yell at cameraman and commissaires and just try to, to get access to him. I mean, it's just an absolute uh, mess up on those climbs. With just so much going on. So by the time we got to him, it was running again smooth, but of course he'd lost the jump and, um, and just suffered to try to bring it back on the descent. It was a dodgy descent, i got to tell you. Probably the worst decent you could have to try to bring back time on, you know, because you take the risk, you're off the edge. Yeah. So, uh, back to plan B for tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll take care of it, don't worry about that. We'll come back strong. Uh, just have to, yeah, rewrite the plan a little bit. Well, he did look strong. Well, like, I mean, he was actually jumped away from Cotterdor when it happened. Not by a lot, but he still had a few lengths gap and, uh, and was attacking. Exactly, uh, and tomorrow's a monster, you know, so... Um, yeah, we'll just get him calm, get him fed up again, and you know he forgets to eat dandy sometimes. <laughs> Got to remind him that, and uh, fill his legs up, and he'll be ready to rock tomorrow. Don't worry about that.